guys, up next is our latest trip to Old Forge snowmobiling. Uh, unfortunately, it's probably going to be the last trip of the year. It looks like the weather's starting to get warm. So I don't know if we're going to be able to go up too much more. I think this is it. So there's going to be two snowmobile videos from this trip. Uh, but then after that, uh, you know, don't worry. I will be doing some dirt bike, uh, some motorcycle, some jet ski videos. So hopefully some cool stuff. Hopefully you like that too. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to grow the channel, and the only way to do it is through viewers. Uh, I really appreciate everybody watching. Uh, it's been great. All the comments have been very positive. Please let me know what you like, what you don't like, and hopefully we'll do some more of that. The, the, the stuff you like, obviously. So, hope you enjoy. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Shag here. It's uh, Saturday, March 7th. And uh, this could be our last ride of the season up in Old Forge. Um, conditions are supposedly still good. So we figured we'd get up here because uh, it's supposed to get warm this week. So got a little bit of Shag Boy news for you. So let's check it out. First of all, look who's back. There he is. The myth, the legend. Zuki's back. Zookalicious. Back so for all you fans that wanted him, he's back. So here's the other news. Uh, so this is my sled, the 14 XRS. Um, but I actually bought a kind of a backup sled for Zook or for Parker or even Mrs. Shag to use. So let's go check it out a little bit. So we actually just picked it up last night. It's a uh, 2012 Skidoo um, MXZ TNT. So the good news is, is it's a 600 E Tech. Uh, we got a really, I think we got a great deal on it. So. Nice to have an extra sled to whoever needs it, like Mr. Zook. So, so you'll probably be seeing this one out on the trail. And uh, there he is right there doing what he does best, smoking. So, so Pasty Boy and Gary are, up, are on their way. We came up last night. We bought the sled last night, came to Old Forge. Uh, they're going to meet us probably for breakfast or out on the trail. So we'll catch you in a little bit. Almost 400 miles. Yeah. Gotta love this guy. So I appreciate he, we That's, drove a long ways to go get this sled. We went. I appreciate giving me um, something to ride. <laughs> Cranberry Lake. So we went to Cranberry Lake and then there's no good way to get from Cranberry Lake to Old Forge. So we drove uh, four hours to Cranberry Lake last night and then to Old Forge. We got in about two o'clock in the morning. So uh -huh. thanks Zook for coming with me. Thanks for letting me ride. Anytime. So here we are, we're coming into uh, Old Forge. And basically, we're supposed to meet Pasty Boy and Gary at the Information Center. Um, you know, we left the cabin, and uh, we're basically taking Trail 4. And we're supposed to meet them at the Information Center, but, it, you know, it's hard. Sometimes you don't know exactly where they are. You know, sometimes it might take you longer. So we're just going to go there. Uh, we'll wait for them, and we'll, eventually we'll meet up. But, you know, it was good for Zook to get some time on the new sled, get used to it a little bit. So every sled, as you guys know, is just a little different. So this new one is picked and it's got uh, a real nice set of skis on it and real good skags. So no pressure riding with him and I. Just want him to get used to it. Don't want him to crash or anything like that. So, so here we are. We're crossing 28 right by the Pied Piper. And then we're going to meet the boys in a minute. So we're at the uh, information center. Zook and I just came from the cabin. Uh, we're going to meet Pasty Boy and Gary here and uh, kind of make some plans. So let's go check in with Zook and see how he likes the 600 E Tech. Zook! Looking nice. Riding okay? Yeah. And then with the picks, I whacked a few times. Man, it just 
digs right in. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to smoke you today. What did you think of those skis? Yeah, it turns out a, a freaking a dime. dime. I know. I, I I forget what he said. These skis were. There's some Didn't he say power rock? ski or something. They're special, thirty some inch wide. Pick that up for things. a second. I want to see if it's. Yeah, interesting. Single carbide too. But yeah. Digs right in. Yeah, it turns. I mean, I'm sure it helps that it's kind Yo, of. Yo, look who's over there. Look at that. Gary's driving. Let's go check in with the uh, the girls over here. Zook's got his handy Bronco in his hand. What up? Paste! What's going on? What's up? I let Gary drive from the gas station here. Wow. Come. Was he tired? No, I had to freaking roll. What up? What's up? <laughs> roll it, dude. You had to drop a kid off at the pool? Yeah. What's up? Oh, nice. Hold on. How much? Want to check out the, the new wheels? Yeah. Nice. It's all thick, too. Dude, I whacked it a couple times and it's so hard. Yeah. It has a clutch kit? Yeah, the guy doesn't like his old. Well, he said he rebuilt it. What do you think? Are you mentioning that you just picked this up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah. So, I just said, you know, it's going to be like an extra sled. For anybody that breaks down or their sled isn't running, why don't you just, yeah. do, why don't you just <laughs> donate it to the cause? Yeah, right. Donate it? Well, Shag boys we, we should we should start a GoFundMe account, but we'll leave that alone. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to make some plans and we'll check in later. Here we are, we're uh, just getting on trail one, the Old Forge trail system. So this is that nice fast stretch here right after the bridge. So I can almost bet that Gary's going to make a right hand turn here on trail three. I've been riding with him for over 25 years and uh, I just know him so well. Back before communicators we would just take a stop and I would hand signal trail one to trail three to trail six and we both know each other really well so so what a great day i'm glad everybody's together and so far the conditions are pretty good in our video a little bit I believe this is trail I think they used to call it trail 29 so this uh, is a little connector basically between trail 6 and trail 2 kind of near uh, Big Moose so we really like this trail a little bit I like this clip because you can actually see the boys up in front of me you can kind of see uh, at least two maybe three of them at times it's kind of neat to see everybody in, in the same shot 
I'm pretty sure Pasty Boy's ahead of me because uh, he's got a yellow helmet. Zook's ahead of him, and then Gary's up front. So this is trail one. Uh, we're heading towards the Branningham Trail. Uh, as you can see, you know, it's pretty early yet. I'd say it's probably about 9.30 or so. So not a ton of traffic out yet, and the trails are uh, so far in pretty good shape. You know, they can always use more snow, but uh, earlier in the week they had a lot of rain, and it took out some of the snow they had the previous weekend, but we're just happy to be riding. So here's the turn to Branningham. Uh, we kind of like this trail. I think we were hoping to go to Old, or uh, excuse me, to Tug Hill, uh, see how far we could get. But uh, we take this trail for probably I don't know, 10 miles or so, and then it it kind of like the uh, maybe even 15 miles. There's a uh, a stopped area where it's all it's a logging road and there's like no snow at all and there's a sign that says five miles of this so we kind of stop there and we take a break and then we kind of take our first trail side chat Okay guys, so we are on the trail to Branningham, and uh, how many miles we ride? 30, 32. Rode about 30 miles. Uh, it's not bad, it's, it's like a hard packed ice, and really the only thing loose on top is what the, uh, the sleds have kind of picked up and stuff like that, and I'll tell you what, following Zook, uh, that, the new sled has got some really good picks on it. It is throwing like ice chunks, so I gotta stay back a little bit, but Overall, for this time of year, it's pretty good. Um, we're having a good time. It's nice to get the boys together again. It's supposed to be warm this week, and we think that this is it. So, kind of show you where we are. So, yeah, we stopped here because. Uh, so there's the trail, and then this is a, uh, a logging road. So it looks like uh, next five miles of no snow. So we decided to stop. So. Yo! It's, gonna leak. It's, a yeah. it's just shaking that water yeah. coming out the zipper. Maybe. So, I'm just saying, but uh, Zook has uh, struck again, so. Here's new sled with the bag. Somebody had a uh, water bottle in the back, and. Anyways, I didn't know your BRP we'll just, bag was faulty. We'll just add that to the rental fee and for the sled. Hey, what? Is that a Bronco or is that a Seneca? I don't know. Check the one that's right there on the ground in front of you. All right, let's see if this is his. Ah, uh, yep, that is. <laughs> Ride on that, it's 
bad enough you overheat your sled. It's not mud. Yo, uh, Zook, yeah. what do you think of that sled? How do you like the XS chassis? Awesome. That's so. XP chassis. I'm sorry, XP chassis, it's this is XS. Very nice. Like what I was, was telling them, I said, Gary went and did a brat little wheel. Really? There's only two chassis behind? Come on, nope, There's boy. XS and what's yours? Please. Gen 4? Yeah. Right, sorry, I swore. What He's, the hell? He knows me uh, my whole life. And he's saying my real name. Make what sure he, you edit that out. Paste, pasty boy? Yeah, that's my, my birth name. So he did a, that shithead did a Wait, wheelie. what's your name? So it's Paste, your middle name is T, and your last name is Boy? Yeah. <laughs> I, you've known me a long time too, see? You get it. Since uh, fourth grade? 1983? Yeah. Uh, How long is that? It's uh, fourth grade. Or no. 37 years? Is that right? 17? Yeah, 37 years. I've known these yeah, um, I was 12. young men. That one over there, I've known him. Gary, when, yeah. when do we meet? 19... Fall of 86. 86? He's a newbie. I just met him. <laughs> I've only known him for 34 years. I can't believe years. Him in. 34 years. So, Zook. Tell me about the, the sled. What do, what do you think about it? Great. Runs men. Skis come right up. Think you want to get one of these? Yeah. I thought you were giving it to him. That well, was my birthday present. Gary did uh, lend me a thousand bucks towards it until uh, like I can get to the bank. So if he wants to give me another two thousand, then Zook can have it. <laughs> you guys want to go to the rec center and check out the sleds? No. Stuff? Please, no. Sure, Did you see the line I of know. people? Well, and right I now, got people contacting dude, me. They want hats There's no oh my God. near as many hats. people yeah. on the trails as I thought there would be. I know. I mean, I don't think it's bad. Like, no, I, I don't I mind. It's bad. smooth, and I, I kind of like it. But um, but I definitely I, need to... Let's go somewhere and thaw that so, out. So and, you uh, haven't even really taken bumps, really, on no, it. But. No. Everything's pretty smooth, so I haven't... I've taken some, and it takes them good. So... So it's got nice, nice skags, nice skis, and good yeah. picks. Yeah. Probably what you need in conditions like this, because it's kind of icy. Hey, we opened for that sure. up earlier. There's a it freaking is. brand new belt in there. Yeah, yeah in you're there. not gonna hey, be able to see that. That brand new belt is ice covered now, so. It's locked. Want <laughs> me to get my lighter? Run my lighter across it? Then yeah. I want you to buy me a new one at the show. Okay. So I want that thing sure. polished. And uh, actually, I could pee on it and melt it. It looks like under there, G. Like I said, I'm really happy about the guy I bought it from. He took uh, really good care of it. He was the second owner, but he bought it when it was a year old and uh, really maintained it really well. When we went there to look at it, this one, uh, that idler in the back, that one right there, had actually come off the bearing. So he's like, oh, I really apologize, and he fixed it right there for us. So, anyways. There's the crew, so we're going to do some more riding. Uh, I actually need some oil. I was going to get some in town, and I forgot to get it. So I'll probably head back and oil, put some oil on the two sleds here, and uh, we'll maybe catch you later. See ya!